Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, hello, my name is Jay Kissa and I love America's Next Top Model. I've been watching the recent season and I just found out Patrick Starr is going to be one of the guests on the next episode and I'm so excited. Congrats, Patrick, that's amazing. Tyra made me feel so good about my giant forehead when I was younger, so... You know, it just holds a special place in my heart. Today, I'm so excited because we're gonna be talking about the brand new Sugar Pill Little Twin Stars Pro Makeup Collection. This has already launched by the time this video goes up. So if you are interested in it, keep in mind that it's already launched. It is limited edition and Sugar Pill has said that they are not going to re-release the colors separately. There is an eyeshadow palette, a makeup bag, and a lip duo. I mixed the lip duo, spoiler alert. You'll have to wait and see. Let's talk about the prices for everything. The eyeshadow palette is $38. You are getting six shades and there is frost, foiled, and matte in here. Liquid lip duo is going to retail for $36. It comes in the super cute packaging with each of the twin stars on it, Kiki and Lala. They are so cute and their corresponding colors and it even has the color of their hair as the lip color and I just think that's such a cute touch. If you want to get this plus this plus a makeup bag in a super cute box that you can keep as collection, you can put things in it. I tend to put like little notes in it. That's what I do, I don't know, I'm weird like that. Retail for $79 and that is the only way to get this makeup bag. Keep that in mind if you collect makeup bags like I do. I love to collect makeup bags. I would immediately want the complete collection with the box so I could get the makeup bag. Sugar Pill was nice and did send this my way, which I'm so thankful for. Everything is vegan as well as cruelty free. If you are unfamiliar with Twin Stars, they are part of the Sanrio family. Think Hello Kitty, think Guditama, stuff like that. Lala it has pink hair and Kiki has blue hair. If you can't tell, I tried to match the backdrop the best I could. So that is super cute. I will be doing a whole tutorial on this look using every single shade from the palette. So if you want to see it in action and if you want to see me swatch the lip colors, then let's get started. I'm so excited and I'm hungry. My oh. eyes are primed and ready to go. So excited for this collection. If you wanted to, you could also use a white base underneath to really make the colors stand out. Ugh. I just used my normal primer and all that kind of good stuff and I set it with a matte powder everywhere that's close to my skin tone. I actually think I wanna recreate, maybe combine a little bit of these looks from the campaign. My phone is so dark, why is it like that? So I think I kinda wanna combine these looks from the campaign, I think that would be really pretty. First thing that I'm noticing off the bat is that there's only one matte shade, which you guys know me and you know that I really love matte shades and I think that matte shades help make a palette cohesive. So there are foiled, frost, and a matte finish in here. Let's go in with Sky Candy first. There is a lot on the brush that I'm just gonna tap off the excess. I'm gonna blend this into the inner portion of my eye. I'm just using small circular motions. Blown out in the inner portion of the crease and then kind of brought downwards. Despite this being a frost shade, it is blending out really easy in the crease and I feel like you're not able to notice as much frost on the eye when I look at you. I'm okay with that if there is a shimmer and you can just kind of buff away. On the same brush, I'm gonna take Wish, which is actually a foiled shade. I'm gonna focus this on the outer portion of the eye. There is just a tiny bit of fallout with this shade, but no big deal. Then I'm just gonna take Wish on my finger and place that all over the lid. And this shade is really pretty. You can tell that it does have more pearlescent and it is more foiled than something like Sky Candy. So I am gonna pick up a little bit of Wish on a flat brush like this and I am gonna foil it just to see how far we can take it. So I'm basically just gonna wet my brush. And I wanna see, ooh, when you wet it, it really, really brings out, ooh. So I definitely would recommend, instead of using your fingers, use this color damp and I think it will exceed your expectations because that looks so pretty. You can see from this side where I wet the brush and then this side where I only applied it with my finger, you can tell how much more foiled it is on this side. So I really do recommend wetting the brush for this shade. 
So I quickly went ahead and applied concealer just on my under eye area. And now I'm going to go in with Star Ribbon, which is the matte shade in the palette. I'm going to just focus this on the outer portion of the eye. I thought it was going to be close to kimchi, but this is actually a lot lighter. I'm going to kind of just carry this almost like an under wing. I think I'm going kind of off of what they did, so that's okay. I feel like kimchi is a lot more blue based if that makes sense so this one is has a touch of i can sense a touch a tiny bit of green this one applies really really easily to the eye area as well moving on i'm going to take cloud maker and this is another foiled shadow so we learned good job um i'm gonna just wet my brush i'm gonna apply this on oh my god oh my gosh that's so pretty this one does kick up a little bit more in the pan, so just be aware of that. Moving on to the inner corner, I'm gonna take Twinkle Twinkle, and this is a foiled shade as well, but first I'm gonna kind of blend it out a little bit in the inner portion, and then I'm gonna go in and really foil it. This shade is so pretty too. Now looking at this, when I first saw this in the pan, I was like, how am I gonna pair all those colors together? But now I, I'm glad I went off the campaign image and now that they're all applied I can see how they would flow together and it makes a lot more sense to me now. I don't think this one even needs to be dampened. The final shade is Dream Dust. Dream Dust is a frost shade and I'm gonna just pop this on the brow bone. That would make a really pretty highlighter on the face. I'm quickly gonna go do mascara, lashes, contour, but I am going to be using Sky Candy as blush today, so I will be back for blush. Okay, so lashes are on. These are Lullaby by Sugar Pill as well, and then I cut up a little bit of Precious from House of Lashes and just stuck them on the outer corner just to kind of make my eyes look bigger. And then on my waterline, I applied the NYX Faux White in Baby Powder. These are really cool because they are meant to brighten the eyes, but also they have a little tint to them. So I really do like it with this look. Now I saw that Amy, the owner of Sugar Pill Shrinkle, she uses Sky Candy as blush. And I thought that I would try that out because I think that's gonna be really pretty. So I'm just gonna take this and then tap off the excess because I can go heavy handed as we may know. Oh, she was onto something with this blush. This is like such a pretty blush because it just catches the light really beautifully and it makes your skin have a healthy sheen to it. And then for my nose and Cupid's, why did my voice go nose? <laughs> my nose and Cupid's bow, I'm gonna take Dream Dust, which is that frost shade, because I want, I like my nose highlight and my Cupid's bow highlight to be just a little bit more subtle. This is pretty as a highlight as well. Try a little bit on my chin. Who am I kidding? I like all my highlights to be blinding. But I like this high, this is a highlight for like every day. I think it would be really pretty. I'm sorry if you can hear leaf blowing outside. Um, that's so annoying. So I went ahead and I did apply in Nude Endo from ColourPop on my cheekbones because I really just wanted to have something very sheeny and very shiny to just play off the eyes. Even though I do love that shade for kind of the center portion highlight. There are two lip colors and they come in a lip duo or you can get them in the collector's box. Kiki is a teal and it does have tiny, tiny gold shimmer in it as well as Lala. Lala is more of a bright pink and it does have a little bit of gold shimmer. They say it is celestial gold sparkles, which is the cutest description I've ever heard. Okay, so the cool thing about this color is that the more it dries, you can start to see the little celestial gold. I think that's so cute. Um, you can really start to see that come out, but if you go like this, it comes out even more, or you can use your finger. Thank you. 
Something else you can do is actually mix them together and then go ahead and apply it with your lip brush of your choice. I know that's a little annoying to kind of take both of these with you in your purse, but what you could do is get one of those retractable lip brushes and before you leave, just load the product up retract it and then throw it in your bag to go, which is sometimes what I do when I mix lip colors. How I do that is I just take the back of my hand, apply color, apply the second color, you can kind of just mix them however you want. Okay guys, here is the finished look. I decided to pair the mixed colors with this look. I thought it just looked really cool. That's the cool thing about having a lip duo is you can kind of make it a lip trio if you mix them. And it makes like twice the amount of sparkles because you get two different colors, so you get two different sparkles. Let's talk about everything. I love the lip duo. The lip duo is so, so cool. I think that it's a great addition to the Sugar Pill family. As for the eyeshadow palette, we definitely learned that with the foiled shades, you have to wet your brush to really make them super intense and really gorgeous. Not that they were they weren't gorgeous when I pressed it on with my finger, but when I used a dampened brush, that's when it took it to another level. I really do wish there was one more matte shade in here, like a really pretty light pink would, I think would complement this look really well, but they do have Dolly Pop, so if you wanted to use Dolly Pop from their line, then I think you could incorporate that in this look. I would put Dolly Pop like right on the outer portion of the eye, even when I think about this collection, it is definitely so different for Sugar Pill to not have bright stuff. This is pretty much a lot of pastels in here, and I think that they did a really good job formulating these. The shade Star Ribbon is really pretty and a nice addition to kind of the turquoise family that they have going on. I like the packaging of this. It's very sleek. It's very adorable. On the back is just so freaking cute. If you are like me and you are a Sugar Pill, I think... The young kids call them stands, I don't know, uh, fans for life. I adore Sugar Pill and I love to have anything limited edition from them. I have a bunch of products, even in old packaging still, that I haven't touched because I just love having the limited edition stuff. And if you want to get the Lip Duo and the Lip Palette, you might as well get this cute little bag too because it's really cute. I could put a bunch of brushes in here for traveling, eyeliner, stuff like that. And it does fit this palette really nicely as well. So if you did want to take the palette with you in a bag with the lip colors, you could just throw it in the corresponding bag, which I think would be really cute. As for the lip color, I did compare them to Euphoria, which is one of my favorite liquid lips from Sugar Pill, as well as Girl Crush. Girl Crush is a very bright pink, where this one is more of like a baby doll pink. So it's not going to be as bright as Girl Crush. It is going to have a little bit of that baby doll tone. Kiki was not even close to Euphoria. It's actually quite different even in the packaging. As for Star Ribbon being close to Kimchi and Mochi, it's not even close. That is one thing that I really love about Sugar Pill is even though they will have colors that are kind of tonally in similar families, each color is going to be unique and that is what I adore about Sugar Pill. They're never going to launch the same color twice. I think that's a really cool quality to have in a makeup brand. Forgot to say that I love Sky Candy as a blush. I'm like gonna use this as a blush so much because it's really, really pretty on the skin. Dream Dust made a really pretty subtle highlight on the center of my face. So I will definitely, I think this is a multi-purpose palette and you will find different ways to use it and I think that's really cool about the palette. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe before you guys leave and I will see you next time, bye.